This year represents exchange. In order for me to get this money, I have to exchange something, exchange my time, exchange my talent. What do comedians do? You buy a ticket, the comedian goes on stage, he tells jokes, he gets paid. What do he do? He exchange his talent for the money. Whatever it is, you have something. Everybody's got something that they can exchange with other people. Now, there's different levels or different conditions of exchange. If you understand these and apply the correct condition of exchange, you will actually flourish and prosper. You would make a lot more money, right? No matter what activity you decide to do, if you actually follow these conditions of exchange. So the first condition is something called ripoff. That's where I receive money, but doesn't deliver anything, anything in exchange. <laughs> it's ever happened to you. You ever paid for something and you just never got it? <laughs> That's called a ripoff. The person ripped you off. That is one that you will never get anywhere in life if you rip people off. The second condition of exchange is something called partial exchange. I take in something, I take in an order or money and deliver part of it or a messed up version of it. You ever seen one of those cakes? Uh, you ever seen one of the comparisons where somebody's like, hey, I'm gonna order this cake and it looks like really nice and super awesome. And then you see the real picture of the cake and it just looks like trashy and nothing like the picture that was there. It's a partial thing I get and I get exchanged back and or some corrupted version. It's not exactly what I ordered, right? So I got something, but it wasn't exactly what I wanted or what I ordered. Number three, fair exchange. I take in an order and money and I deliver exactly what was ordered, right? So that was a fair exchange. So I order one dozen eggs, somebody show up with one dozen eggs. Okay, the fair. That was fair that's what I ordered most businesses in life in those businesses operate on fair exchange you get what you order if you want to succeed no matter what activity you decide to do so let's say you take inventory of what you want to uh, what you want to achieve what you want to get what you want to do like okay I'm gonna do this activity then what you then have to do is ask yourself how can I apply this next level of exchange to the people I want to exchange with for the money. Fourth level of exchange is something called exchange in abundance. Give something more valuable than the money that was received. Have you ever gone somewhere and then you bought something or you paid for an experience and it was just a phenomenal experience and you're like, man, I would pay more than I paid for this service or for this thing. So one of the things we started to do when we looked at that, we're like, okay, so we provide good products and services for our clients. How do we continue to exchange in abundance? And so one of the things we started to do for, for a certain category of clients in our financial business is we started to send out these really, really cool gifts to them. As we started to do that, people like take pictures of it and post it on social media. <laughs> and the funny thing is that we get us more clients, but we just did it because because we wanted to thank them and reward them. We kept thinking, how do we do higher conditions of exchange? Another thing is like the responses, how quickly we can respond to people. All the level of service we provide, we're like, okay, how do we, how do we provide better service and more service to our clients, things like that. That's where we started to look at. We're always thinking about, hey, is this fourth condition of exchange? And so if you do that and operate at that level, it will be so much higher than what is normal in the marketplace, and that is how you make more money. A common example of this, people say, go the extra mile. It's doing above and beyond the, the call of duty, the task at hand, doing more than is required. Uh, you could be a receptionist, and you could be doing condition for exchange, where you are greeting people with a big smile on your face, helping them, making sure if they come into your office or whatever it is, they have water or they have some kind of a snack or whatever it is, just making them feel welcome. And the person goes, wow, that person welcomed me so much into that dentist office or whatever business that is, I want to continue to exchange with them. I want to keep spending money in this location because of how that receptionist makes me feel. And you guess what? If you work for somebody else, your employer will find you even more valuable to the business it would help to increase your pay. When you go to talk about pay increases, your employer will want to give you more money. And if you're in sales, you will make more sales because of that, because you take care of people above and beyond what they're used to in the marketplace.